everybody, welcome back. Today, you can just call me Saint Jim, because we're taking a look at the one and only, aside from the sequels, Saint Seiya Chapter Sanctuary for the PlayStation 2. Developed by Dimps and published by Bandai, it was released in 2005 and was released in Europe as well, complete with a whole host of language options, but unfortunately, it never made its way to North American shores. The plot centers around the title character Seiya and the other bronze saints of Athena as they engage in cosmic battles with the silver and gold saints, gods, and all the armies that come with them, and everything has the motif of Greek mythology and symbols of the zodiac. It's one of the all-time greats in the anime and manga world. Saint Seiya is a really flashy and simplified 3D fighter. You have two normal attack buttons, light and heavy, that can be chained into long combos, and you have a special attack button that lets you perform different techniques when combined with the different directional buttons. But you can only perform them when your power meter, located at the bottom of the screen, fills up. It's divided into three different sections, and the fuller it is, the more powerful the attack, and you can charge it up by simply holding down one of the attack buttons. Other than that, you have buttons mapped to block and dash. The real fun of the gameplay, as far as I'm concerned, is trying to land your character's super powerful and over-the-top Big Bang attacks. When your special move meter is full, you hold down the special attack button as long as you can to charge up for the move, and the longer you hold it, the more devastating the move will be, assuming you're using a character that has multiple Big Bang attacks. Some have one, some have two, and others have three. You do have a chance to defend against them via a time button press, followed by a power struggle, but if you fail, then get ready to take some serious damage. <laughs> Another cool feature in Saint Seiya is how matches end. With all those super powerful moves flying around, you can't just have people getting knocked out in one go. Matches would be over far too quickly, so instead, you have a chance to get back up after being knocked down, kind of like in a boxing game, which I really like. It keeps the matches going. You've only got five characters to choose from in the versus mode to start with, but you unlock a bunch more in the story mode, which is pretty awesome as far as fighting game story modes go. It plays out like a series of episodes of the anime and features some good, but rather lengthy cutscenes. Overall, the gameplay in Chapter Sanctuary is really simple, but fun. If you're looking for another Tekken or Virtua Fighter, you won't find it here, but what you will find is definitely not your average fighting game. It's a bit hit or miss sometimes, but overall, I do like it. The presentation, in my opinion, is where Chapter Sanctuary really shines. 2D to 3D translations of anime aren't always great, but I think it was done really well here, which isn't all that surprising when you consider that Dimps also developed the Dragon Ball Z Budokai games. The cutscenes are lengthy but still entertaining, the characters and environments are well representative of the source material, and again, the Big Bang attacks look really cool. The soundtrack is decent. A lot of the music is actually recycled from the anime, and the music that's new to the game is pretty forgettable, but at least appropriate for the game, and there's a lot of outstanding voice acting all throughout. Overall, Chapter Sanctuary has fairly fun gameplay with a whole lot of flashy effects, and fan service thrown on top, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Hey, 
式明快ハッだが死にかされ込んで龍が浮かび上がっているバカだこの強大なコスモはこのシリウが究極まで高めたコスモで登れ龍よ天高く五段昇竜派So this is a pretty enjoyable game. It's nothing mind blowing as far as gameplay goes, but it is fun. Really though, this is a game that's meant for fans of the series. I said once before about a Naruto game that I review that above all else, it's a Naruto game. Well, above all else, this is a Saint Seiya game. Keep that in mind going in and you'll have a good time. Looking online, it's not a terribly expensive game either, usually going for between 20 and and 40 bucks, so if you're a fan of the anime, then by all means get yourself a copy of Saint Seiya Chapter Sanctuary and get ready to see stars. <laughs>